हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिल्ड इट तो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट दैट वी आर वर्किंग ऑन एंड वी हैव लेफ्ट ऑन दिस स्क्रीन दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड आवर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द कलेक्शन व्यू एंड सेल एंड व्हाट is the desired output is like this you want to create this kind of uh, layout using the auto layout in the script and we are using the snapit frameworks so if you haven't watched my previous video uh, i'm attaching my youtube uh, last videos link in my description of this video so you can go on this that video and watch it uh, so you can understand how we we uh, Have set up this all thing, and if you have already watched this video, let's get started on this screen. Okay, so okay, so for creating this uh, kind of view, uh, I will create a UI view class, and in which I will create three image views. Like in this uh, cell, you can see here. Okay, so let's. Go and create a UI view class first. UI view. I will name it the uh, carousel view. Create. Okay. So we have this. Now we need a image view. Private lazy where. image the one kind of ui image view all right let image view image view object like this and we will return a image view object here okay now i will add this image view first on the sub view as i mentioned in my last video you have to do this first before using the snapkit or any layout constraint snp dot net constraint dollar 0 so uh, it this is the image view one that i want on the uh, left side of the cell like this and as you can see uh, it is not divided uh, 50 50 width like it is uh, around 60 40 ratio i mean this is the 40 and this is the 60 ratio so let me do this so for creating this image view as we can see the left should be equal to the edge of views left and the top is equal to the super view right and also the bottom is also equal to the super view we need to calculate the width of for this image view. so let's do this quickly like if i click uh, if i say left it should be equal to the super view if i say for the top it should also equal to the super view and for the bottom it should also equal to the super view and now if we are going to talk about width it should also equal to the super view but i am doing this it's a kind of uh managing is uh width okay so i am giving this minus sign because the offset is uh, in the it, it works in the plus format like uh we if we talk about the x and y axis the uh, 1 and 2 3 it should be from left to right but if we go on the right side uh and if we giving a positive value it will it will make it go out of the bound like out of the frame okay so we need to give it a uh, like negative value here frame dot width 
and I want it to divide it by 2 and also I want it minus 20 I'm uh, subtracting the value 20 because I want to show it like uh, uh, you know 40 ratio of this image view okay so I'm uh, subtracting the 20 from this now image view dot content mode it should be scale spec fill and uh, clip to bound also I think I need to do this clip to bound should be true so our image view doesn't go out of the bound all right now we need a landscape images these two images on the right side so it will be image view 2 okay and uh, its constraints we can see the top will be equal to the super view and uh, left should be equal to the image view 1 because we want it to start from the image where image view 1 is ending and uh, it should start from the from that that place okay so what we'll do image view 1 image view. image view 1 dot you can see dot image view 1's right should be equal to the left of uh, this image view 2 and uh, I also want to have a padding of 1 pixel here so I will do offset of 1 pixel and top should be equal to the super view and in this case our right should be equal to the super view because we want the right side of this uh, image to be uh, whatever the age of this super view okay and uh, now we need a height object because we don't need to give it width we have already given the uh, left side and right side so it will automatically calculate the width of the image view we only need a height calculated here so the height should be equal to the super view and offset will be height Item dot height divided by two, and uh, here I also want the padding of one pixel. So I will minus the one. So you you need to calculate uh, these these all things uh, in your mind. So it will be easy to write write down here in the code. Okay. Now we need a third image view. Image view three, and its constraint should be uh, left should be same as the image view two. The top will be changed because it will be below the image view two. So this is image view two dot SMP dot bottom and uh, offset of one pixel yeah. actually you can uh, define it one place only but uh, in our case it will create a two pixel offset I think. okay so let's uh, do it uh, the right will be equal to the super view again and uh, in this case we only need a bottom that is also equal to the super view okay so we have the three image views now now i will create a array of this image view so i can iterate them easily image view image view one for my image view view 
2 and image view like this all right now i will create a init method and uh, init actually decoder will automatically come here I will uh, create a view model here actually a model for this uh, view so I am going to create a structure so whoever uh, going to use this view uh, will be oh, bounded with this model so uh, if anyone going to use it he needs to create this model in case of using this view that's why I am saying it's a reusable view okay so what this view needed is a array of images okay and all all images will be added to this image view so to do do this uh, we need a private function and we need to write a logic so if someone provided more than three images or uh, maybe two images or without images even so it won't crash our application and it should work fine so i am going to use for loop and it read everything view image view sort weighted so it will give us index and one by one image is also here now i need to check the index that to whatever we going to use uh, has another image like this and i will check model dot images dot count is uh, greater than index and if has images it has another image then i'm not going to use this option value so it will simply do view dot image equal to model dot images it should be images make more sense like this all right now we need a model here a variable of model in which we provide a value of this model, model and uh, on the did set we want to calculate uh, call this function and uh, for that i think uh, i need to this is the optional uh, value this model might there might be some cases if the user don't provide the model value so in uh, we need to check that case also to use this model like this I'll unwrap, safely unwrap this and then I'm going to call this uh, setup view and pass, pass the unwrapped model okay so we have created only this view till now now I'm going to use uh, uh, create this title and uh, this description but I'm not going to use uh, uh, these elements in this carousel view it should be separate and uh, there might be some cases uh, where we only need to reuse this but uh, we don't need to do, uh, use this title and subtitle and this image uh, or button okay so this should be separate and this uh, should be added in the collection view cell it totally depends on upon you if you are not going to uh, like if you don't want to uh, add this title and subtitles on the uh, collection view cell then you can add in the 
this carousel view as well so you can reuse this all the cell in collection view or table view wherever you want to use and you also need to modify this model also for the title and subtitle you need to add this values here but i'm uh, going to use this uh, values in the cell cell class all right guys so this is it for today's lesson i just want to keep my video short uh, like between 10 to 20 minutes so no one get bored while watching my videos so i will continue my uh, this uh, project in my next video uh, i will show you how you can reuse this view in your collection view cell and then showing them on the collection view using the data source i'll show you step by step in the next video so stay tuned on my youtube channel and uh, if you haven't like and subscribe my uh, channel then please do it and you can share my videos with your colleagues and friends so they can also learn from my videos and keep supporting my channel thank you so much